Hello everyone, this is Andrew again. And now, we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 18. Okay, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have three push buttons, one selector switch, and three actuators. As you can see on this table, if the selector switch is off, all of your switch is disabled. And if the selector switch is on, if we energize X0, it will cause Y3 to turn on. If we energize X1, it will cause Y4 to turn on. And if we energize X2, it will cause Y5 to turn on. Then, if we turn off the selector switch, Y3, Y4, and Y5 will turn off. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's turn on the selector switch. Now let's press PB1. As you can see, Y3 turns on and it will remain on. Now let's press PB2. As you can see here, when I energize X1, it will turn off Y3 and Y5. And it will turn on Y4. Now let's press PB3. Now let's turn off the selector switch. Now let's try to press PB1. Nothing happened. Let's press PB2. Nothing happened also. Then let's press PB3. Nothing happened also. Then let's try it again. Let's turn on the selector switch. But right now, let's press PB2 first. Now let's press PB1. Now let's press PB3. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for this exercise. Now let's turn on the selector switch. Let's press PB1. Now let's press PB2. And now let's press PB3. Now, let's turn off the selector switch. As you notice here, every time that I press a button, it will make a specific output to turn on, and it will make the rest to turn off. And the selector switch is used to turn off everything. Okay, now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have three push buttons, one selector switch, and three actuators. When we look at the table, it is the same as our last exercise, but the only difference is when I press X0, instead of turning on Y3, it will turn on both Y3 and Y4. When I energize X1, it will turn on Y4 and Y5. Then, when I energize X2, it will turn on Y3 and Y5, and the selector switch here is used to disable all the buttons. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's turn on the selector switch. Now let's press PB1. Now let's press PB2. Then, let's press PB3. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for this exercise. Now let's turn on the selector switch. 
then let's press PB1 now let's press PB2 then let's press PB3 okay that's it now let's go to our next exercise exercise 3 create a PLC program given the following conditions you have three push buttons and three actuators if PB1 is pressed the process will start process will stop after completing one cycle now let's discuss the process as you can see here, cylinder 1 will extend. After it reaches the full extended position, cylinder 2 will extend. After cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, cylinder 3 will extend. Then after it reaches the full extended position, cylinder 1 will retract. Then, after cylinder 1 reaches the fully retracted position, cylinder 2 will retract also. After cylinder 2 reaches the fully retracted position, cylinder 3 will retract also. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Now let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. Okay, let's press PB1. By pressing PB1 here, X0 will be energized. And because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, Y3 will turn on, and because there's a latching here, Y3 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. Okay, now because Y3 is on, it will cause cylinder 1 to extend, and because cylinder 1 is at fully extended position, X5 will be energized, and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, Y4 will turn on. And Y4 will make cylinder 2 to extend. And as you can see, because cylinder 2 is at full extended position, X7 is now energized. And because X7 is energized, it will cause Y5 to turn on. And because there is a latching here, Y5 will not turn off anymore, even if either X7 and X10 is not energized anymore. And now, because cylinder 3 is at fully extended position, X11 is now energized. And because X11 is now energized, the normally closed contact of X11 here will be open. And that will cause Y3 to turn off. And because of that, and as you can see here, because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, X4 is now energized. And because X4 is open, Y4 will turn off. And that will cause cylinder 2 to retract. And as you can see here, because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, X6 is energized. And that will cause the normally closed contact of X6 here to be open. And because of that, Y5 will turn off. And that will cause cylinder 3 to retract. Okay, that's it. Now let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell to notify you for new video.
please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.